Hey! In this video we address Virilian's question about ghosts and skills. It's a really age-old question and it's about the actual skills ghosts can train and get XP's in. Because the lore says uh, they can only gain XP's in their own racial skills which are materialization, possession and soul mist projection and that's quite a mouthful I'm afraid but for everything else they need to possess someone else and especially if that someone else is a spiritist so the question is what about skills that don't really require a body and are mainly mental or psychological and uh, abstract can they train in those skills without possessing someone because they don't need a body to do them and if not why Okay, the first thing about ghosts is that uh, they have an out-of-character problem with game balance. They can very easily become unbalanced. And so we need to put uh, some kind of limiter on them. It's quite easy to see why a ghost can get quite out of hand, because they can escape confrontation very fast, they can pop in maybe unleash their powers and escape so it's very easy to abuse their powers in a kind of god modding kind of way so we decided to put a limiter on them for this it basically similar reason is why they can't uh, get noses marks and in the end I went for a compromise and only allowed to train them in their racial skills and uh, for everything else they get to need more creative and role play and maybe get a friendship uh, with a spiritist a PC spiritist especially from which they both stand to gain and yeah that kind of thing but there's an in character reason as well and it doesn't really have to do with the body or the need to possess someone with a body. The reason is not physical but psychological. Uh, a ghost is very much a creature stuck in a moment, frozen in time. Uh, people often don't roleplay ghosts really well because they don't get the basic thing about being a ghost which I'll probably touch in a later video but a ghost is uh, not just a dead person who's transparent and floats and blinks and does that kind of ghostly things you aren't really playing them right if you, if you are just people to you normal people to you a ghost is actually crazy at some point at some the level in their soul and uh, maybe they don't show it openly maybe they can even come across as very likable fellows but somewhere there's the crazy and if you dig enough you'll get to see it not necessarily um, a dangerous or scary crazy but there's some crazy they are unstable um, and because they are stuck in time, they can't really easily advance unless they are reminded in some way of what it means to be alive through possession. Yeah, so that's the basic uh, answer I can give you. And there's actually much more to say about how to replay a ghost, but I'll get to this in a later video. Uh, about your question, yeah, the, um, unfortunately, the there are no exception to the rule. You can only train those three skills without possession. Because we want to avoid any borderline cases and uh, you know the, the very moment we start making one exception then we make another exception and then suddenly we are flooded with exceptions. So we really like to keep things clean and clear from a game balance perspective and an administration perspective. So I hope that answers your question, but 
I'll keep more videos coming about ghosts because they are a really interesting and underplayed and misunderstood race and they deserve uh, a lot more talk about it about them so it's all for now and I'll say goodbye and I hope that answers your question and uh, thank you for asking me that question it was uh, really useful that you did and uh, bye for now and I'll see you next time <laughs>